Hey, you know what I feel like doing? I feel like running Nemesis. Let's finish up the finish line so we can play this game. What do you say? But I have this little niggling, little itch in the back of my mind. What could it be? Oh my God. Um, I didn't create a separator for the merge section here. I mean, not a big deal, but man, you know how I love merges. Yeah, I, I call that little itch in the back of my mind. I call it, I call it uh, Dark Lady Lexi. That's, that's what that itch is called. So let's create the separator. I mean, yeah. So wrench and spanner, create separator. And here I'm just gonna call it merges. All caps, why not? All right, and let's position this above uh, all the merges. Yeah, so much better. All right, and you know what? While we're creating separates, let's create another one. Let's create it. Yeah, let's create it. Create separate. Let's call this one finish line. Because why not? Why not? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so Nemesis. <laughs> this still requires NetFrame 3.5 to be installed in order to function. This, these instructions used to be in the prerequisite section. So, chance you already did this but if you didn't install netframe 3.5 right there all right so let's move on set up instructions before we start we need to set up mo2 so save the nemesis output to a mod and not an overwrite file so this is what we're going to do in mod organizer we're going to create a, a mod folder called nemesis output so in mod organizer 2 install install full looking open the mods folder create a new folder you know what don't 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 do that click on the tiny wrench spanner and create empty mod and uh, call that Nemesis output. Bloop. Copy. And the paste. Good. There it is. That's the empty folder. Now, in modern, press the executables button and select Nemesis. So, executables button. That'd be these little two uh, gears here. Locate Nemesis. Right there. Nemesis Unlimited Behavioral Engine. And what we're going to do is create files in a mod instead of an overwrite. So, whoop. I wonder if I have to... Check this box before it sees it. So this is in alphabetical order, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. Do -do 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 -do. There's the M's, we're in the N's. There it is, Nemesis output. Just like that, apply, okay. And now let's move on. Mm -hmm, good, select apply. Mm -hmm, make sure to activate the Nemesis output. Okay, so let's activate these. Now, we're gonna run Nemesis. So go ahead, drop down menu here, locate Nemesis. There's Nemesis and run it. Warning, fail to read mod cache file. All mods of us will be reverted to unchecked state. That's okay. Fail to read language cache file. Language set to default languages. That's okay. If you get that, just click okay, okay. It's because you just never ran Nemesis before. All right. So here we're gonna check some mod names. So we want archery gameplay overhaul. Tick that box. 360 movement behavior. Tick that box. Mage lock. Null. Let's see if we can find this. There it is. Tick that box. This is in alphabetical order, man. I don't know what that's going on. What's that about? Okay. Maxu stagger direction. Let's find that. That's right there. And ultimate combat TK dodge. There you No, that's ultimate combat creature compatibility. There it is. No, that's ultimate dodge. There it is. <laughs> ultimate combat TK dodge. Boom. After having done that, click Update Engine. The engine is now updated, Captain. All right, click Launch Nemesis Behavior Engine. Boom. And away we go. All right, Behavior Generation Complete. Took 20 seconds. All right, you can close this out. And to verify that it worked, you'll see two things. One, you'll see Phoenix. .esp down here for compatibility reasons for old Phoenix uh, animations or whatever. And just open it up. You'll see meshes and engines and scripts and all kinds of stuff. Good. Activate that for now. All right, now we're going to move on to Rudy88 ESLFI. This is a utility that will automatically detect plugins that are suitable to be flagged as ESL. Once upon a time, we had to do this uh, manually, and um, it was a thing. Built character, but it was a thing. So first, we're going to, I guess, install it. So let's download it. Files. Manual download. Download. Hmm, I need to log in. You can't see my password. I think I entered the wrong password for that. I did. Let's do it again. You can't see my password. There we go. Start the download. Save it. Let's open it. All right, cool. Now we're going to stick this into a SSE edit. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. So open up your mod folder. Go into SSE edit. There's edit scripts. Okay. 
So we're just going to drag all this over here. Whoop. There you go. Very good. Now we can close this up. Let's go back here. The mod organizer 2. All right. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So we're going to run it through the bat. All right. So in download, archive followers, click on level 2 gears button to edit your executables path. Create a new executable and call it Rudy 88 ESLFI. All right. So here's a gear button. Modify executables. All right. So I guess we're just going to do this. Click on the plus, add from file. Uh, we're Nemesis, so uh, let's click on mods. Nope, let's click on our mod folder, Lexi's Legacy of Dragonborn. Mods in the root directory of my C drive, yours might be somewhere else. Let's go to SSE Edit, and let's click on the bat file here. Click Open. And it's already named for us. Is there anything else we need to worry about here? Close the window, sure all plugins are active and right pane. Right, yeah, let's see what happens. <laughs> click OK. Drop down. R8, yellow supply. All right, run it. There we go. In this window, we're going to type in SSE. SSE, enter. Launching the script. Press any key to continue. Boom. And it's doing its thing. All right, from here, we want to make sure everything is selected, right? Make sure everything is uh, checked and click OK. The script will then run, and the window will appear to list all the plugins. The script will flag as ESO. Click OK. Very easy. Very nice. All right, so these are all the plugins that are going to be flagged. Very cool. Click OK. Boom. Done. You can close the application now. Closing. Ah, oh, lovely. I love these tools. Okay, a time for a quick test. So this is going to be like a really quick, basic sort of stability test. So go ahead and launch Skyrim here. Drop down. <gasps> yes, yes, guys, we're actually doing it. Click on SKSC and then click run. Now, this mod list is a very big mod list. Lexi's guide is huge. So, yeah, even with a really good SSD like me, I have an NVMe SSD. It, it's going to take a good bit to load Skyrim. But don't worry, once you're in the game, loading between cells and all that doesn't take long. It's just your initial load. So just be patient. It's happening. Okay, so we want to fully load into the main menu. Dark Lady Lex's legacy of the Dragonborn. <laughs> okay, after the game fully loads up into the main menu here, go ahead and tap back to, uh, to your browser, to Lexi's guide. Because we're going to want to copy some stuff here. So, first place we're going to test is Azura. So, copy this right here. Or you can just memorize that and just uh, manually enter it. Or you could do this. From the main menu screen here, Press the tilde key. It's the key next to uh, your number one key, just below the escape key on your keyboard. Type in COC and then control V. All right, it pasted it, but for some reason, it also typed in V. Make sure V is not there. Then press enter and let it load. Yeah, these loading screens are from a mod. I forget what they're called, what that mod is called. Ooh, here we are. We're in, oh, so pretty. All right, so don't worry about any of these pop-ups for now. We're just uh, seeing that the game loads up. Scripts are firing. Things are going good. Just click OK through all that. Oh, yes. We are children of the yes, yes, we are. Oh, yeah. Just run around. Take a good peek. Be a tourist of Damriel. Looking good. All right, the lads are not going to look great because we didn't run Dindalod or anything like that just yet. We are purely checking for stability. Oh, yes, this game is glorious. Okay, so this area is obviously good. So now we're going to check the next. So go ahead and tab back to your browser. Now we're going to go to Merun's Dagon. Copy this there. Control C. Go back into the game. Press the tilde button. Then type in COC. Control V, make sure you delete the V, hit enter, and we're moving on. Ah, oh, pretty, so pretty. So great. Yeah, the lods are not working yet, but we're not there yet, so don't worry about it. Strictly going for stability. Oh man, I love this game so much. All right, next area. Temple of Markarth. I mean, Markarth the Bella Temple. So, gonna copy this here. Go back into the game. Oh, wait. 
I forgot how to sheath. I normally play with the controller. There you are, R. Okay, so tilt key. C-O-C, control V. Make sure you delete the V and enter. All right, we are in the temple of the Bella. Look at this. Just look at it. Look what you did. Oh man, I actually really like this EMB. I may actually use it this playthrough. I normally go to uh, Rudy. Wow. Guys, I am so excited. I hope you're excited too. All right, so now let's go to Kill Kreath Ruins Exterior. Go ahead and copy this. Control C. Go back into the game. Tilde. C O C. Control V. Delete the V. And boom. Okay, press R. Maridia. Ooh. Looking good. Oh, man. Okay, next area. Talos. So let's copy this Markarth, Shrine of Talos. Control C, go back into the game. Press tilde. C O C. Control V, delete the V, enter. Oh, man. Man, this game is so pretty. Oh man, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so freaking happy. All right, Winterhold College Exterior. Let's go there now. Control C, go back into the game. Tilde, C O C, Control V, delete the V, enter. All right. Please don't bother the Archmage. Looking exactly good, Marabell. Eh, Ancano, I don't like you, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, guys. We are good to go. So I'm going to end the video there so it's not too long. <laughs> Thank you for joining me, guys. And I will see you in the next video.